Hey, my lovely Aquarians. I was going to read for Libra first, but I decided, I don't know, your, that zodiac sign just popped out, so I guess I'm reading for Aquarius. Woo-hoo! <laughs> Welcome to Willow Vines Intuitive Vibes. My intro is totally screwed up, and I don't really care. It is what it is. It's a bonus reading. Take it or leave it, you know? Um, I feel like someone wants to say that, you know, take take me as I am, take the situation as it is, or go away, you know, just if you're the little earth angel that um, you think you are, or that they think you are, or whatever, take your wings and fly free if, if you don't like me, I don't know, somebody's getting a little, it's either this or that, like, I don't want to live in the gray area anymore, so give me a yes, a no, I don't want no maybe so's, um, anymore. I'm getting a little fed up with waiting is what I'm feeling for most Aquarians or that's your love interest or whoever's surrounding you. Because even if you don't have your eyes on someone, they could have their eyes on you. Um, so I'm going to cover a few different categories. I'm not going to just explain it right off the bat. I'm not even going to do my intro stuff normally. I'm just going to say, please like, 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 comment, share, and subscribe stick around stay for a while um this is because i didn't get to your march um main reading i it was you cancer and aries and then libra was my most viewed so you four are getting bonus readings and then i'll go into my next series but yeah i'm not going over the my preliminary stuff just thank you for personal readings if you'd like one hit me up my email's in the box below i'll gladly read for you um i always like to let you guys know that you that those are available and you know email me if you're interested in any of the oracle decks that i've created the prequel to loving you exposed um or if you would like a willow vines bracelet $20 free shipping within the U.S., $3 shipping internationally, and you get a free one if you purchase the prequel to Loving You. So I guess I am going to say a few preliminary things, but I'm shuffling, so... Oh, we're done. All right, balance, spirituality, and practicality. Full moon in Pisces. So some of you could be dealing on, dealing with a Pisces or waiting on a Pisces, or there's a Pisces around you is interested in you. Um, but I kind of feel like even though there's a strong soul connection between you and someone, potentially a Pisces, it doesn't have to be. We have multiple signs in our charts, so don't get hung up on the zodiac signs. I just feel like there's a strong soul tie to somebody and it's like, we're like, we're twin flames or it's, um, or it's a really strong connection. I can't seem to shake you. And I, or like, I want to move this forward. You're all that I think of, whether that's on their side, your side or both sides. But how can we bring this into reality? Because I do feel like there have been some obstacles between you and this person up until this point, And there still could be some going on. I do have a section that I'm going to look into and see what those could be. A time to give rather than take new moon in Virgo. Some of you could have Virgo in your chart or you could be dealing with a Virgo as well. But I feel like it's time to share your feelings instead of just absorbing other people's emotions. Um... So if someone's really been there for you, you know, reciprocate, be there for them in return. Um, if somebody told you that they have feelings for you and you have feelings for them, don't hide it, say it. If you don't have feelings for them, don't hide it, say it, you know, so you don't lead anyone on is what I'm, is what I'm really feeling. So let's see, I want to see what this balance, spirituality and practicality Material world, money, career, status, third dimension, make your mark. I think, I feel like a lot of you are thinking a lot or your love interest is, but you're really focused on yourself, um, getting your money straight. You want to be wealthy. I feel like whoever I'm talking to, I mean, most people do, but I feel like I want to make a name for myself. I want to leave a, my mark on this world. So no matter when I go to the other side, I want people to know my name. I, you know, I want, um, generational wealth. You know, I want to be able to pass something down to my children, including a legacy. So I feel like a lot of you are hard at work and you are manifesting 
a beautiful life towards you. I do feel like a lot of your dreams are going to be coming true within the next year or so. So within this year, expect beautiful changes. I feel like next year, you might not even recognize yourself or your situation because it's going to be so different. You're going to get the person you want. You're going to have the money you want. I feel like a lot of people are going to be after you. And for some of you, they're already wanting you, but you're just like hyper-focused on yourself right now. You might have to come to a compromise within yourself and be like, okay, you know, yes, I want this. Yes, I'm hardworking. Yes, I'm going to bust my ass to get here. But you have to have that balance in your life, you know. Um, don't exclude love. Don't exclude friends and family and other opportunities. Find a way to do it all. Um, you know, maybe spend a little less time on your goals. And I know that sounds weird because normally it's like you need to spend a little bit more time achieving your goals in order to bring them in. But I feel like you're spending too much time. Like, I feel like I'm just burning myself out. Um, and I totally get that feeling because I'm a Scorpio. And when I get stuck on something, it's it takes a lot to tear me away from it. Especially if it's like something I really want. Like, if I have a goal in mind, I do everything and anything in my power to fucking achieve it. And I kind of feel that energy here. But don't forget about the people around you. And, and don't forget to live life, you know. Um, our experiences make everything else so much better, you know. So if this isn't you, it could be your love interest or both of you are just hyper focused on work and personal goals. And it's like, you know, I gotta, I gotta rule the motherfucking world. I have time for love, make time for love. Cause I feel like you'll be pleasantly surprised if you do. So let's see who's coming towards you, Aquarius. Who's coming towards my Aquarians? Some of you it could be a Capricorn because we have the devil right here. But I also feel like this is a fixation. You don't see who's coming towards you because you're so focused on yourself and your dreams and your goals. And that's beautiful, but it can be it can become a little obsessive and a little toxic if you don't make time for other people and other things in your life. So just make sure you have that balance, like I said, because I feel like you might get sucked sucked into something like hardcore. We have the hangman, could be dealing with a Piscean, the magician, there's your manifestations like I was talking about, and then we have fucking work, like <laughs> the eight of pentacles. Um, for some of you, you really could be dealing with a Pisces or a Virgo. We have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, and I did mention Capricorn here. There's Aries energy here too, so any of those signs could be coming towards you, but... I feel like whoever is coming towards you is somebody who has been stuck on you for quite a while. They've been trying to figure out how to make things work with you. But I almost feel like this person has been manifesting you into, into their life. Like that's what they've been hyper-focused on. That's what they've been working on. And you've been just working on the, yourself in the, in the material realm. Um... I also feel like both of you are, are workaholic energy, so both of you have a hard time making time for others. So time management is huge here for someone. This person, this is what I feel. This is who's coming towards you, Aquarius. This person was just kind of hanging out. You got This is somebody you have hung out with as a friend at some point. Um, and you wanted them in your life. You were manifesting them possibly through your work or while you were at work. That could have been when you guys like were hanging out like or talking and then you'd hang out after work. But I, I almost feel like you were manifesting them to come into your life and they were hyper-focused on work. They were stuck in their job or in a work situation. And it's like, I just, I can't figure out how to, how to do both. But now they're manifesting you and you're hyper-focused on work and you don't know how to do both. So you both are kind of flippy flopped with that. So whoever was was choosing work over love prior, that's who's coming towards you. Yes. So what is this person's feelings? How do they feel about Aquarius? I 
nose is running. This person has cried over you. You've probably cried over them at one point, at some point. Not all of you. Someone might also be getting sick. Communicate, expressing feelings, messages, news. No, oh, I was going to take it. I saw robotic, which is like somebody doing the same thing over and over on repeat. And I kind of feel that energy here with who's coming towards you because they were hyper-focused on their job, not making time for love. But they are now. Um, warmth, positive vibes, summer. Summertime could be significant for this connection. But I almost feel like... Um, heartwarming communication will be coming in over the summer. Communication could be coming in sooner, but I feel like that's when commitment is going to come in because we have sparks, chemistry, new, new passion, creativity, commitment, honor, and values, and loyalty. So I kind of feel like this person has a lot of love for you and their feelings, their, their, their feelings are are growing and expanding. I feel like their love is growing. They want to express themselves, and I do feel like this person is going to come towards you this... They're going to come towards you before the summer, but I feel like they're going to really get in touch with their feelings over the summertime. Um, and for some of you, you I, I almost see this... I don't know if it's a vacation or if you guys just going to hang out and have like some type of getaway, possibly by a lake on a beach of some kind by a river. I don't know. You're outside somewhere and it's warm. It could be around the 4th of July with this sparkler that is in the summertime. That just could be a significant date for some of you. But I just, I feel like the sparks are really going to fly as the seasons change. So it's almost like coming in and learning how to make time because this is also time. Like, I feel stuck. I don't have enough time for love, but I want to make time for love. So I feel like this person is going to slowly communicate with you and learn how to fit you in and learn time management. And over the summer, that's when it's going to pick up because it's going to become routine, even though it's just kind of friendly communication, but they're going to express themselves and they're going to want to commit to you. And I almost feel like someone's going to ask you out officially and make it official, um, potentially around the 4th of July or just in the summertime. Um, let's see what this person is, is hiding from you. I kind of want to use this equal to loving you what is this person hiding from Aquarius or vice versa so yeah expect communication relatively soon and it will just you know it'll be an it will be an uphill climb from there is what I'm feeling like it's not you're not gonna hear I love you right off the bat it's gonna take time it's gonna take um, some energy they're seeing signs and synchronicities. I feel like this person sees you everywhere and that's why they're coming in to begin with because they were hoping you would come in, but you haven't. So it's like, well, now I need to take matters into my own hands. I can't just hang out and wait because it looks like Aquarius is just working on themselves and they don't have time for me. So I guess I got to make time. So what, you know, it's like what goes around comes around. So this person's getting a little dose of karma basically. Um, but the distance is definitely making the heart grow fonder. We have transparency. <sighs> hiding in plain sight, false mask, lies exposed, words that sting, a need for honesty, opening up, forced communication, unmasked, deep emotions, unexpressed feelings. What they're hiding from you is their feelings. This person has not been transparent with you. They have not been honest with you. They've been hanging back. I feel like you really haven't been honest with them either, so it's... Um, it's kind of on both sides, but that's what they're hiding from you. They're also not letting you know that they're keeping tabs on you if you do anything online, whether it's for work or just for fun. And I say for work because uh, there's, a, there's heavy workaholic energy here. I feel like um, they watch you at work. This person thinks you're gone. 
sheltered off trust issues and insecurities. So they do have insecurities that they're hiding, which is probably why they're not expressing their feelings like they should or like you wanted them to back whenever. Um, turning over a new leaf, improvements, attitude, change. Yeah, this person has changed their mind and that's what they're hiding from you. They're hiding their fucking feelings because they haven't communicated to you. Um, music, melody, soothing your soul through music. I do feel like music ties the two of you together. There's certain songs that uh, make you think of one another or make this person think of you. Some of you might play music. You could sing. I don't know. There's some type of music. There's melodies that tie you together. Songs. I almost feel like you're the reason why they even listen to a certain kind of music. Like, this person only liked a certain genre, and they're kind of broadening their musical taste because it makes them think of you because it's what you listen to. So this person does know your likes and dislikes, and if you posted any music online, on Facebook, Instagram, whatever, like, hey, listen to this song or this band, this, this person listens to it on repeat because it makes them think of you because you like it, even though it's not something that's up their alley, but they like it now. Um, but yeah, what they're hiding from you is the fact that they were very insecure. They didn't, they had major trust issues due to past experiences and it's like they don't, they didn't trust you because they don't trust themselves or they didn't. They were definitely hiding their feelings. They were not being a hundred percent with you, but I feel like they're changing. They've changed their mind. They're singing, they're singing a different tune now, basically. Um, they want you. That's what they're hiding. Every, you're everywhere I go, you're everything I see, you're everything I want, and I hope that you'll be with me. Like, I don't know, maybe this person's writing music or song lyrics for you because that kind of sounded like a poem. So let's see, their potential actions. What is this person's potential actions towards Aquarius? I feel like this person wears a mask around a lot of people. They act like they're like this big macho man or tough woman and this person is very vulnerable and weak inside or that's how they feel but they definitely don't show their weaknesses um this person probably felt like showing your your feelings or your emotions is a sign of weakness so um having that lovey-dovey conversation with you would have made them feel like a weakling like like I can't do that because then Aquarius won't like me because I'm this type of person, but I feel like you saw right through their crap anyways. I really do. I do feel like the communication between the two of you prior when you were talking or whenever you do talk, because some of you still talk to this person off and on, just like in a friendly way, because I do feel a sense of detachment. Um... I feel like the conversation almost seemed forced because they they weren't being themselves. They were controlling the dynamic between the two of you and in doing so with withholding their feelings as much as they were, it was it was like forced communication because it's like I don't know what to talk about because the things I want to say I can't say is something like that. So and you felt it. You're like, you know, this is something seems off here. Like, I don't know. So their potential actions towards you is temperance, which is healing the situation, the mother of cups, which is the queen of cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. We have Sagittarius here, but she's very loving, nurturing, caring. Um, oh, the two of cups. That's a commitment. That's soulmate energy with the four of wands, and that's a commitment, which we have twice, and stability. I feel like the potential action is to reconcile things with you, is to finally let their wall down and be 100% transparent with you because this is what they have been hiding from you. I no longer want to hide my feelings. I see what this is, and I feel like this is a sudden change. Yeah, because this person has gotten a heavy dose of karma with judgment here. I feel like they've had to face, they've had to face the music, basically. Um... Because they held the, themselves back, it pushed you away, and now they're stuck in their damn feelings. That's pretty much what this is. Yeah, I feel like out of out of nowhere, that's what it feels like for you, but it's been a long time coming. Um, potentially with an earth sign or a Scorpio. 
But yeah, I feel like they want to offer you commitment. It's like, you're the one for me. I don't see myself with anybody else anymore. You're my mirror image. You're my match. This is a sense of reconciliation, no matter what that means to you. So it's like, I want to right my wrongs. I want to fix what this is. I want to express myself. And I do see commitment coming forward more than likely this summer. But for those of you where the summer months, that's where memories are tied to, like when you saw this person or the 4th of July is a very significant date with the Sparks card. Um, if that's just what that means for you personally, I do feel like commitment is right around the corner because this person's potential actions are to ask you out and to move forward with you romantically, which is amazing. For most of you, you did not date this person, even though this is reconciliation. I feel like this is reconciling my mistakes um, and actually letting my walls down. I want to be vulnerable with you. I want to be fully transparent now. So whatever they're hiding is no longer going to be in the dark, basically. So let's see what the potential blocks were or what they currently are. The blockages in this situation. It's either what the blocks were or currently are, like basically what um, what problems you might face throughout this situation or what you have faced. Because for some of you, depending on the timeline, you know, this is an ongoing blockage. While for others of you, it's, it's upcoming when you two connect. I feel like the opinions of others is an obstacle, and I also feel like being fully transparent and, and being open and vulnerable because this person fears showing signs of weakness, but I feel like you make them feel weak anyways. Fall, change is in the air, your answers arrive in autumn. Some information came in last autumn because I don't feel like answers are coming in this fall because we have currently and then moving into summer where most of this is going to take off fully soulmate okay release and then solitude that's and then winter yeah so last fall moving into winter um stuck in divine timing that's a blockage all in itself is being stuck so basically last year last fall i feel like you recognize this person as your soulmate and um you were forced to release them you felt stuck in this situation which we do have the hangman here so it's, it's like i feel i feel stuck by myself i don't know which direction to move in i don't know if i should let you go fully if i should wait for you or if i should find somebody else because i feel this strong connection i i feel like Basically, this person wasn't um, allowing themselves to get in touch with their emotions and they didn't fully see what this what what potential this connection could be or what potential you you held for them. Basically, I feel like this person needed a lot of time by themselves and they were used to being alone or you were. And it's really hard to get out of a cycle that you've been stuck in for a very long time. So if you've been single for a long time, I feel like it was very easy for you to let this person go or it was easy for them to let you go because I'm just so used to being by myself. Um, but there was a recognition and going, oh, doy moment, like, why did I do that? So, yeah, I kind of feel like the block, the block is potentially a karmic person as well. But it's it was getting out of um, outdated ways of thinking and patterns. This person was having a hard time letting go of a karmic situation of a past situation and of what they, of their, of their routine, a robotic energy is what I'm getting with that. Um, you might fall into a rut with this person. And I feel like as long as you keep communication going and don't fall back into old patterns, you should surpass that. Um, so let's see what the potential outcome is for the two of you for April, the outcome for April. Surprise, gifts, the unexpected. Cycles. Repeated patterns, learn to break free. Learn to break free from repeated patterns. I just said that because um, some of you, there is the possibility, that's the blockage, 
of falling into old habit, habits and old patterns because you're so used to being single or alone or this person is, it's like, oh, well, I, I'm alone. I'm used to that. I only make time for myself and, I, and I'm going to just put my head down at work. And I did start off the reading with, um, with feeling that you're hyper-focused on achieving your personal goals and work goals and money and whatever. And I do feel like your love interest is hyper-focused on that as well. So if you two get sucked into that cycle again, this could fall on deaf ears and both of you go your separate ways. So just be aware of that. Um, that you guys have a pattern. So break the pattern, basically. And I do feel like this person coming in out of nowhere is going to break the pattern because then we have soulmates, soul contract, divine union. And I just feel like it's because I know what this is now. They recognize this connection. So if you guys actually open up more with one another after this surprise communication in April, that's going to set the, basically set the terms moving forward, set the foundation for this connection because you got to break some type of pattern with this person because there's soulmate energy written all over this. Like we have soulmates, soulmates, which says compatibility, companionship, your best life partner. You two are so much alike, but yet have, have a lot of differences at the same time that you guys will always keep each other on your, t on each other's toes and keep each other interested. Um, I feel like you guys would have a lot of fun together. You have already, and you've only touched the surface on, on what you two are capable of, um, of achieving together. Yeah. Take two second chances. Try again with enlightenment, spiritual awakening, revelation. If this person wasn't spiritual before, I feel like they are um, waking up to that. And reconciliation, repairing, rebuilding, mutually agreed to leave the past in the past. So for a lot of you, I do, I do feel like you guys will reconcile um, or at least be in the beginning stages of reconciliation and coming together, coming into union finally. Um, by the end of April, moving into summer. So between now and summer, but I do feel like this is talking about a significant memory or time that you two spent together or just things that you want to do. Commitment is on the board and that's in their actions. That's in their intentions. That's in their feelings. That was also in the blockages. This person could have feared commitment as well because it's like, I'm just so used to being alone. And when you get used to something, it is easy to just stay complacent. Um, but I feel like I want to try again with you because you're worth it. And this is going to shock the shit out of you when this person actually comes in and fucking communicates that. It's going to be like the world's best surprise is what I'm feeling. So you're going to go from being 100% on your own, like feeling materialistic because it's like, I want money. I want fame. I want recognition. I want, I want this. I want that. And none of it had to do with love. And then your person was thinking the same thing. But I'm telling you, if you do anything publicly for work or privately, just because you enjoy making TikTok videos or doing live streams, or if you are on YouTube or anything like that, rest assured that your person fucking watches you. Um, they watch you, they're, they're your biggest fan and you don't even know it. But yeah, this is fucking awesome. That's what I have for you. Um, let's see, what do they want to say to you right quick and then I'm going to end this because they definitely want to tell you that they love you. I want to court you properly. This is the exposed oracle. I'm too embarrassed to face you right now. Yeah, that's why they feel stuck because they know that they should have moved forward with you by now. Like, they're the reason why this hasn't gotten off the ground because I feel like you were ready to receive and you were wide open when you connected with this person initially, but they were stuck in a, in a rut, in a cycle all on their own. Um, and I feel like you cycle through certain things too, like... Like, fine, you don't like me, I'll just go to work, whatever. I'll do this instead. Um, you got your blinders on, that's for sure, and that's probably why you don't even realize that this person is stalking your ass. Um, 
not in a bad way, but they're watching your social media and I see this person picking up their phone and they're, it's like the song, one number away. That's what I feel because they're always one number away from calling you or they, they type something out and they don't press send. It's like, I, they click on your name. And it's like, I want to talk to you, but uh, I don't know. I don't know if I should. Will it be well received? Yes, it will. Just fucking say it already is what I feel. You both want this. Especially if this is your reading. I mean, damn, Aquarius. There's so many unspoken things here. And I feel like all of that is coming out. Someone's going to have verbal diarrhea before you know it. Which is amazing. I want to help you achieve your goals and be by your side when you succeed. Yeah, so this person knows that you're hyper-focused on, on achieving a certain level of success. Um... There's public recognition here too. That's what I keep hearing. And I feel like they want to they want to be by your side when you succeed, when you reach this level of success. And some of you might be actors or actresses or you make videos of some kind cuz that reminds me of like take one, take two. How many times are we going to do this? Well, this is the second time so far. The grass was greener on the other side because it was fertilized with bullshit. I made a mistake. Gossip is poison and it's plaguing the situation. I did say a blockage was listening to the opinions of others. There it is, right there. And that's something they want to tell you. Somebody was strayed away from you and didn't move forward with this connection because of something that someone said, and it was a lie. So them holding back was based off from bullshit. And I feel like they're seeing that, and that could have happened this fall, which led into winter. But I feel like we are shedding some light on, on the bullshitters of the world now. But that's what I have for you. Hopefully it helps. Hopefully it makes sense. I love you so much. I'm sorry for all the delays, Aquarius. You know that I love you guys. Um, yeah. And look forward to more content. I love you. Peace.